And right now here in our area, strong winds are causing power issues in Indianapolis. This is a look at the outage map for AES Indiana, which they are currently reporting more than 10,000 outages, 2,000 of those just in the past few minutes. And if you look at the map here, uh, you can see that they cover all of Marion County. So uh, joining me now, meteorologist Chelsea Stevens, and you've been keeping an eye on uh, what's in our area in terms of these, these storms, these winds. Yes, that's right. We had some of those strong, stronger storms roll through mm -hmm. earlier this morning. Now most of that is out to our east, but it's the wind that we can't get away from just yet. We have a wind warning for the northern half of central Indiana. Indiana. That includes Indianapolis to Lafayette, Marion, and Muncie. We could see those wind gusts between 50 and 60 miles per hour south of I-70 under a wind advisory. These advise, this advisory and warning is set to expire at 7 p.m. this evening. So how strong are the wind gusts currently? Right now, 36 miles per hour. But just a second ago when I was looking before updated, it was about 48 miles per hour in Indianapolis. That's why we're seeing those increased reports of those power outages. We've even seen some reports over 50 miles per hour. Currently, it is 43 miles per hour in Kokomo, 41 in Bloomington, so definitely a very windy day. We've been seeing our camera shake, and our temperatures are falling. Still in the 60s east of Indianapolis, while it's in the 40s to the west, with Indianapolis currently at 51, 49 in Greencastle, 59 in Shelbyville. So that cooler air is quickly filtering in. You can see as we take our regional view, this is the center of the low where we can see that it is counterclockwise rotation and it was wrapping around that colder air, especially behind that cold front that moved through. We're still seeing a few of those light rain showers west of Indianapolis at this point, but no heavy rain at this time. But because we have that wind, it's likely blowing around near Crawfordsburg, Greencastle, slowly sliding to the east towards Avon and Indianapolis, but our temperatures will continue to fall over the next several hours, spending majority of the afternoon in the 40s, but expect it feel a little bit colder because we have those strong wind gusts. And we had a little bit of cloud cover, but those clouds have moved back in. Now for your day tomorrow, we're starting off in those middle 30s, so it's going to be a colder day. High temperatures maxing out in the 40s, and it's going to be mainly dry and mostly cloudy. However, as we continue to see some of the winds out of the northwest, we could see a few of those lake effect snow flurries, mainly for northeastern Indiana, it may stretch a little bit farther south into central Indiana, may even south of I-70 more be a light few rain showers. But really, as we roll into the weekend. High pressure system moves in, clearing out those clouds. We're going to have sunshine by Saturday. We'll be in the 40s the next few days, but then those 50s return, especially by the start of next week.